all right what's good welcome back to another really League life three career video season two as the canterbury banks town we're in the fourth round here going up against the Parramatta eels playing at Paris home ground protect stadium and it's a sunday afternoon so you know what that means hopper's out for religious reasons so it allows us to bring in one of our new recruits a former bulldog back in the blue and white Bryson Goodwin will be playing at centre for Will Hopewadi. A couple more changes. Our experiment with Abby at 5'8 wasn't working too well last game, so Josh Reynolds is back in the starting lineup. Brad Abby's been dropped from the team, and with Reynolds starting, they opened up a spot on the bench. So we've brought in Tauke Aho. It was between him and Fatala Mariner. I don't think Mariner's had a game yet. He'll eventually get a start as I figure out this final 17. As we spread the ball here, Eastwood to Graham, back to Eastwood. Through the hands here, great ball movement. It's actually a little spammy, but we eventually get the ball out to Phillips on the wing. One-on-one -on -one with their fullback, Tanzi, I believe his name was. But we get around him to score the first try of the game. Not too sure if that's a new recruit or if he's been in the Eels since last season. But we get the green lights with a pretty tough kick to come by and by. As we slot the two-pointer, we go up by six. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm not too sure who that Parramatta fullback is. But I also saw another new face, Cade Snowden, a former Newcastle Knight, now playing for Para. They're on the attack here, looking for their first win. They go to Snowden, back inside. Corey Norman off the fend, and he's going to get around the fullback. Great individual effort by Corey Norman there to score Parramatta's first try of the game as Kieran Foran converts, and they tie the game up. Back on attack, Rapano with the return. We did well defensively, keeping them in their half. As we shift the ball to Jackson, he takes it to the line, and he's tackled about 31 metres out. Segiara at dummy half, he goes wide. Greg Eastwood to Tolman. Once again, just taking it to the line, settling it down. Segiara takes it from dummy half, goes wide to Morris. In a gap here, as we show the pass, and fend our way through the fullback. Jordan Tanzi, I think. I keep forgetting his name. But anyway, and by with the conversion once again, as we retake the lead. Back with Parramatta here, on attack as they go for a scoot through Lee. Doesn't go very far, he's stopped by Eastwood. Second tackle, Moiroa goes wide to Edwards, throwing the ball around inside their 30. And they pay the price there as they turn the ball over. Seguiaro once again from dummy half, goes wide to Reynolds, back inside. And Westerman's going to take the tackle, 25 out. Seguiaro to Klimmer. Drone pass to Morris, drone pass to Brett Morris on the wing as he puts the chip over the top and Tansy does well to catch it and go as we head into half time. Looking at the stats here, it's fairly dominant on our side. At times, Parramatta's defense has been pretty solid holding us out and there's only six points between us. Back with the Eels in attack as they spread the ball. Miles gonna take the tackle, 41 meters out from their line. Once again, they go to Norman who beats one tackle. This time he's wrapped up by Jordan Rapana at the back. A quick play the ball, Sakaragi with the clearance kick, kicking towards Brett Morris's wing. And it's a great chase in the end as they tackle him on the 10 meter line. Lewis Brown in at dummy half, scoots left, gets past one, gets the pass back inside for Josh Morris. With room to move, we put the big fend on Tim Manor there. As we race away, Josh Morris, one half of the Flash Brothers scoring his second try of the game. I'm expecting a big season from those two. Last season I played a lot on the right side of Rona and Hopper. This season I plan to use Reynolds and the Morris brothers. I say that now but I have a tendency to play to the right. As we make a break on the left once again, Josh Morris having a great game. Passes to Brett Morris, gets the fend on the fullback. Finally wrapped up, 15 out. A little scoot from Seguiaro, eventually passes the ball on. And Westerman takes the tackle, 15 out. Fifth and last here. We go to Mbai. He puts up a high ball to the right side. And it's fielded nicely there by John Folau. Second tackle here. Through the hands to Folau in some space. 1-1 one -one of Rapana and he's going to get around Rapana at the back. As he streaks away here. Scoring the Eels second try. Getting them within 8 with the kick to come. By Foran. A pretty important kick here from out wide and he's gonna miss <laughs> hits the posts unlucky there for foreign a few minutes left in the game Perez on the attack they go to Bo Scott and he's tackled on the 30 on our 30 a little short ball to Vaito Tai 
and it's going to run straight through. Rapana's having the worst game at the back for us. As far nails this kick, but luckily he missed the last, and we get the win. Once again, squeaking past by two points. As we look at the full-time stats here, we got a little lucky there at the end. Much like the last game, we're a little lackadaisical in the second half, and Rapana's defense from the back certainly didn't help us either. But we do get the win in the end. Josh Morris picks up man of the match, and as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.